Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the the B triple E subject total important questions from unit one to unit five. So if you concentrate on these questions, you will be definitely will get the good marks. Okay, now let's see what are the questions you have to read for the tot for the final examinations. Okay, now we will discuss the unit wise questions. In the unit one. The first question is state and verify Kirchhoff's voltage law. In this, you have to define what is Kirchhoff's voltage law. And by taking one example, you have to take one example problem. And it takes only one or two minutes to, uh, to verify this. Take one example problem and verify KVL. Then you will get the good marks. You have to state the Kirchhoff's voltage law and you have to verify by taking one example. Random example, you have to take. Next to state and verify Kirchhoff's current law. In this also same, you have to state what is KCL and what is the diagram of the KCL and after that take one small example problem and verify it. Then you will get the good marks. This is the second question. Explain about the various sources. What are the sources are available? What is dependent source? What is independent source? What is uh, ideal sources and what is practical sources? These are all the sources you have to explain in this. Derive star to delta and delta to star transformation. This is the derivation. Star to delta and delta to star. Okay. Next one is explain the VA relationship of passive elements. Okay. What is the voltage and current relationship of passive element? What are the passive elements we are having? Resistor, inductor, and the capacitor are the passive elements. So what is the relationship between voltage and current of the passive element? You have to explain in this. Next, there are some problems based on the series and parallel problems. Okay, they will ask find the R equivalent or find the R total like that they will ask. For this type of problems, you have to concentrate for the series and parallel connection. Next, some problems you will get based on the mesh and nodal analysis. In the mesh and nodal analysis, they will ask what is voltage and what is current uh, in the particular resistor, they will ask. This is about the, uh, these uh, problems you have to concentrate. <clears throat> Next, the problems based on the star and delta connection. Suppose if, if the some connection is, it is connected in the form of star and delta connection, you have to use this method only to reduce the network. So, these type of problems also they may ask. Next, if this is about the, these are the total unit one long answer questions. If you concentrate these long answer questions, you will get definitely good marks. Next, unit two questions. The unit two questions are, explain the unit two questions based on the AC circuits. Okay, unit one is the DC circuits. Unit one questions are DC circuits. DC circuits and the unit two questions are some part of the DC circuit theorems and the AC circuits. AC circuits and the theorems. Okay. Uh, next. In unit two, if you see the questions here, explain the average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor of half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, square wave, and the triangular wave. They will give any one of the wave. For this, you have to find the average value, RMS value, and form factor and peak factor. This is the one question. Next, explain the behavior of AC through pure resistive circuit, inductive circuit, and the capacitive circuit. Any one, not any one, you have to explain all because it is a long answer question. Explain the behavior of AC through RL and RC or RLC series circuit. In this, they will not ask all three at a time. They will ask RL series circuit or RC series circuit and RLC series circuit. This question you have to explain with the phasor diagrams. This question you have to explain with the phasor diagrams. Phasor diagrams. With phasor diagram you have to explain. Okay. Next, state and explain about the Reciprocity theorem, superposition theorem, and the Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, and the maximum power transfer theorem. Any one theorem they will ask, not all the theorems. 
in this first you have to write the statement clearly after that you have to take your own example so for this type of questions if they ask state and explain about the reciprocity theorem you have to take your own circuit that's why you should remember one circuit for the each and every theorem you should take your own circuit and after that you have to verify the theorem and one more way of asking the question the in the theorems is they will give their circuit and you have to verify the theorem for that given circuit okay so if, if the, in the two ways you have to be ready if they don't give the circuit you have to take your own circuit and you have to explain about it if they give the circuit you have to verify the reciprocity theorem or any theorem for that given circuit only okay this is about the unit 2 important questions and if you see the unit 3 important questions write the advantages of three phase system over single phase this unit 3 is related to pn junction diode and the three phase ac circuits here your first question is write the advantages of three phase system over single phase next one is write the voltage current and power relationships for the three phase balanced star connected load in this you have to write the all the relationships for the star connected load next one is write the voltage current and power relationships for three phase balanced delta connected load it is the same question but the delta connected load here next draw the va next pn junction diode in the third unit part a questions these are part unit, third unit part b is pn junction diode important question sir draw the va characteristics of pn junction diode and explain about it this is the first question of the pn junction diode in this you have to draw the VA characteristics and explain what is forward bias and what is reverse bias clearly because it is a long answer question. Explain about the effect of temperature on the diode. If the temperature increases, how the diode will behave and what are the equations we are having, how the characteristics. Everything you should explain in this question. Next one is compare the ideal and practical diodes. Okay, with uh, take the ideal diode and draw the equivalent circuit and what are the comparisons we are having for the ideal diode and the practical diode in this question you have to explain that explain the biasing techniques of the pn junction diode in this there are two biasing techniques we are having first one is a forward bias and the second one is the reverse bias okay this you have to explain clearly in this question okay Next one is rectifiers. We will see fourth unit is related to rectifiers and the special purpose devices. In that first question is draw the circuit diagram of half wave rectifier and explain the operation of the circuit with relevant waveforms. Up to this waveforms only you have to explain. No need, no need to explain about the parameters if the question is like this. Okay. Next question is draw the circuit diagram of center tapped full wave rectifier and explain the operation of the circuit with relevant waveform. This is a center tapped full wave rectifier. Next, draw the circuit diagram of bridge full wave rectifier and explain the operation of circuit with relevant waveform. This is the half wave rectifier, center tapped full wave rectifier and the bridge full wave rectifier. Next one, next one is explain the following parameters of half wave rectifier. Average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, ripple factor, and the efficiency and transformer utilization factor and the peak inverse voltage. So in this, you have to explain each and every parameter. In this, no need to explain about the waveforms and all. Okay, circuit diagram, how we got the uh, waveforms and all, that is no need to explain. Just you have to explain about the parameters. Suppose if they if they ask, explain about the half wave rectifier with its parameters. With its parameters means you have to explain about these waveforms and the circuit diagram and with parameters also. Okay, this is a total long answer question. Okay, so if they don't ask the parameters, no need to explain about the parameters in this. Okay, next question is explain the following parameters for the center tabbed full wave rectifier. The same average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, ripple factor, efficiency, and transformer utilization factor and peak inverse voltage of center tabbed full wave rectifier. Next one is explain the following parameters of the bridge full wave rectifier. The same parameter that is average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor, ripple factor, 
efficiency, transform utilization factor and the peak inverse voltage. For this, each and every parameter, you have to define what is average value, what is form factor and each and every one you have to define and what is that formula and what is the final value you will get that you have to explain. Next, compare off wave, center tap to full wave and bridge full wave rectifier. You have to compare each and every rectifier in this. Next question is explain the VA characteristics of GNR diode. <clears throat> and explain, next question is explain how the GNR diode acts as a voltage regulator and types of regulations. The GNR diode application is voltage regulator. Then why it is acts as a voltage regulator in this you have to explain. And they are, there are two regulations you have to explain. First one is a line regulation and the second one is a load regulation you have to explain in this question. Okay, next, next question in the fourth unit is explain the breakdown mechanisms in the semiconductors. There are two breakdown mechanisms are there, avalanche breakdown and the GNR breakdown. Uh, this you have to explain in this question. Next one is explain the VA characteristics of SCR that is silicon control rectifier. Next one is explain the VA characteristics of short key diode. Okay, these are all the special purpose devices. Explain about the LED that is light emitting diode and its characteristics. Next one is explain about the solar cell and its characteristics. This you have to explain what is solar cell and its characteristics. Next, unit 5 is related to the transistors. We will see what are the unit 5 questions are there. Explain about the bipolar junction transistor BJT in common emitter configuration and its input characteristics and output characteristics. In this, you have to draw the circuit diagram and explain about the each and every component in the diagram and characteristics. Next, explain about the BJT in common base configuration and its input and output characteristics. This is a common emitter and it is a common base. Next one is explain about the BJT in common collector configuration and its input and output characteristics. And in, next one is comparison of common base, common emitter and common collector configuration. You have to compare the each and every configuration in this. Next, explain about the NPN and PNP transistors. In this, you have to draw the diagram and explain about the equations. Give the relation between alpha, beta, gamma. These are all the current gains of the common base and common emitter and the common collector configuration. Common base, common emitter, common collector configuration. So what is the relation between these among these? You have to explain in this. Explain the concept of transistor as an amplifier. Why the transistor acts as an amplifier with equation and with proof you have to explain. Explain the concept of DC load line of the transistor you have to explain. What is the use of the DC load line and what is the circuit diagram of the DC load line and what are the how the characteristics we will get. Explain the need of biasing. So what is the need of the biasing you have to explain in this. Explain about the emitter feedback bias and the collector to emitter feedback bias and the fixed bias and the voltage divider bias. These are all are called as the biasing circuits. This is the first one emitter feedback bias. They will ask anyone either emitter explain about the emitter feedback bias or explain about the collector to emitter feedback bias or explain about the fixed bias or explain about the voltage divider bias or self bias. They will ask anyone not all in this question, you have to explain what is biasing circuit, what is the near, uh, what is the use of this biasing circuit and whether we will get the stable operating point or not by using this biasing circuit, you have to explain in this question. Okay, these are all about the BEEE important questions. So if you read this BEEE, all the important questions, you will get the good score in the BEEE subject.